Andrew, happy Friday. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Can you put into words what this week has been like for you, literally becoming a national hero? Oh, no, um, I still don't consider myself a, uh, a hero at all. It's, uh, it's quite surreal, but um, no, I keep saying it's, it's a team game and I mean, uh, we put through a, a long shift over a three and a half, four year campaign and uh, for me just to, to make one save in that time, it's, uh, it, it's quite surreal that I'm getting all the plaudits because, uh, you know, it was the, the, the whole squad and the whole team that, that got us there. Andrew, I love how humble you are, but come on, let's let it all out on News Breakfast. I mean, the Purple <laughs> Wiggle even congratulated you. There are kids all over the country reenacting your save at schools. It's all over social media. Our own Tony Armstrong, you may not have seen it yet, but he lost his mind on TV. It must be sinking in yeah, just <laughs> what it means. And what did you think of that from Tony? Yeah, I think... Uh... I'm a bit upset he's got the day off today, I think, hasn't he? And, uh, <laughs> would have been great to have a chat to him about it. But, uh, yeah, it's quite surreal again. I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really taken off. But, again, I, I, you know, I'm just over the moon for, you know, the game in Australia, it, it really needs a kind of shot in the arm and a World Cup can do this. And I'm, I'm more than happy just to play just a small role in, in helping bring that to Australian fans. I agree with you, Andrew. How dare Tony Armstrong take the day off when you're doing News <laughs> Breakfast? Please accept my sincere apologies. I want to ask you about the moment before that save. I heard you say in an interview that the referee had actually said to you, Andrew, if you save this, you win. If you don't save it, you're going to lose. So don't go anywhere. We need to check that you haven't moved up the goal line because you move around a lot. Can you give me an insight into what's going through your mind when you hear the referee say that to you? Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of when it sunk in and my, my, my heart really uh, sank. And yeah, it was, like I said, it was really surreal. And um, I've said a few times, if you could bottle up the moment between um, when, when the striker actually hits the penalty and then that, that split instance when the ball's in the air and you. It goes through your mind, oh my God, I'm, I'm about to save this penalty and um, we're about to win. So I, I wish I could bottle that up and, and let everyone kind of uh, share it, I think. So it's, it, it's again, I mean, I'm just over the moon for the, the Australian public that we get to experience an, another World Cup and we get to see the green and gold on the world stage. Andrew, I love what you just said. So you knew you were going to save that before the ball, actually, before you made contact, you knew you were going to save this penalty and Australia were going to go through. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, I mean, I've, 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 uh, it was just a kind of standard dive. At, in, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's something I've do, a, a, you know, hundreds of times a week and thousands and thousands of times in my career. So, uh, yeah, once you see that ball um, going the way that you are going, it's, it's, it's quite a surreal experience. I love how you think it's just standard. <laughs> That's why you're elite. That's why I'm just sitting on a couch talking about sport instead. Can I ask you about the water bottle? We saw you throw away the Peru goalkeeper's water bottle because he had notes on it. Did you expect that he would have notes on that water bottle? Was it opportunistic when you saw it? You just thought, I'll get rid of this. I loved it. Um, yeah, our, our plan A was to have notes on a water bottle, but um, we did discuss that if, uh, you know, UAE, the game prior, or Peru, um, the game just gone, if... if Either one of those uh, opposition did see the drink bottle with, with the notes on it, it, it would go flying. So uh, I guess we kind of uh, got in before them and, and, and we ran with, with plan B. And um, it, it, it's worked in the past for myself and John Crawley at Sydney FC. And um, we, we just said we're just going to run it old school and um, go off our own little kind of system and style that we had in place uh, in, in that grand final as well. Well, it absolutely worked. I have to ask you about goalkeepers generally, Andrew. You never get the plaudits. In fact, in 2005, everyone remembers that John Aloisi scored the decisive penalty, and we love John Aloisi on this show. But Mark Swartzer, he actually saved two penalties. Do you feel like this is for all goalkeepers? Oh, I, I actually, as a goalkeeper, I think I remember Schwartz's saves more than uh, Aloisi's penalty. It was... Uh, yeah, iconic moment, the Aloisi penalty, but uh, yeah, as a goalkeeper, as a goalkeeping union, um, they say, I think I remember Shorty's saves uh, more so uh, 
So yeah, it's it's one for the goalkeepers out there, that's for sure. And um, you know, on on that topic, I I, I can't thank Matty Ryan and, and Danny Vukovic enough as well. They were you know utmost professionals, and um, you know, I think they they share my kind of rhetoric that um, you know we, we're just more than thrilled for the team and Australia as a, as a whole that we we get to share uh, the spoils of a World Cup as a nation as a whole. Finally, before I let you go, Andrew. Everyone knows your dance moves now. I mean, the Wiggles are doing your dance moves. You've gone global, you've gone viral. Do you change up the moves ahead of the World Cup? And which genre of music will you be inspired by when you do so? Yeah, there was a, the referee in that game was a European and he wasn't too happy with my antics on the line. Uh, <laughs> I did get a few warnings and a few reprimands before, uh, before each penalty taken. So I, I, I did keep a few tricks up my sleeve because uh, yeah, I didn't want to get cautioned too hard or, or anything uh, untoward come in my uh, situation there. So I've got a few more up my sleeve, but uh, yeah, hopefully it, it never comes to that again. Andrew, thank you so much. You keep those moves up your sleeve. We just want to say thank you for coming on News Breakfast. I mean, it's not often we get a national hero. I feel like my Friday's all downhill from oh, no. here, Andrew. I, I beg your pardon? I feel like my Friday's all downhill from here. No, 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 not at all. It's all uphill. It's Friday. <laughs> Thanks so much, Andrew. You're so humble. You're too humble. Love your work. And thank you from all of us, from all the football fans watching. You've made our week. You've made our year. No problem. Thanks for having me on. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I get to catch up with Tony soon. Yeah, I'll tell Tony. How dare he not be here, Andrew? How bad of him. I will have a word to him. Thank you so much, Andrew.